Thanks for joining us for part two of our conversation with the Chief Executive Officer of the Commonwealth, His Excellency, Governor Charlie Baker. Governor, welcome. Thanks, John. Thanks Good for sticking you. around. Appreciate these opportunities we have to, to talk. So in the municipal elections uh, this month, a new super PAC called Massachusetts Majority with close ties to you poured nearly $270,000 into 15 races. That's a good chunk of dough at the municipal level. Some supporting Republicans, some Democrats. A GOP activist, Ed Lyons, wrote in Commonwealth Magazine recently that Massachusetts majority has all the makings of a new statewide political party. Is, is that true? <laughs> well, first of all, um Greg Lascotti, who's a um, business guy from Central Mass, who's the chairman of, of that organization, um, sort of comes at it from the point of view that um, there needs to be some entity that supports what he would call the middle uh, of the, our po current political dynamic. There's a lot of money and a lot of noise on an organization on both ends, the far right and the far left. And he, like a lot of people, is worried about um, supporting the people who are quote unquote playing in the middle, whether Democrats or Republicans, sort of pragmatic, uh, practical people. And, um, and I, I support that ideology. I am, for all intents and purposes, a moderate. People know that. And I do try to play in what I would call the real space um, of, of public life. And I, I wouldn't think of it as a party per se. I just think of it as more of a, an attempt to support candidates who are philosophically more toward um, sort of center right or center left, but not out on the edges. And I, I appreciate the fact that Greg's willing to do this. Well, if the Republican Party in Massachusetts continues to be controlled by Trump supporters, do you have any use for it? Um, I've been a Republican for ever. And over that period of time, um, the party's gone in a bunch of different directions. I would say the same about the Democrat Party. Uh, and I would also point out that the largest group of voters in Massachusetts at this point are the unenrolled, and they grow every year, it seems to me. And uh, there's a message in that, I think, for everybody else, particularly the folks that are, that are part of the party structure. I tend to think of myself as sort of a, um, a moderate Republican in traditional New England ways. Well, what's the difference between you and a moderate to, to conservative Democrat? Depends. Um, depends to some extent on the issues. Um, but I think there are people that um, I've got, well, there are plenty of people on independents, Democrats, and Republicans that I've worked really well with, and so has our administration over the course of the past five years. And, um, and I, I try not to make the work about partisanship, which is one of the reasons why I think We've had a fair amount of success here, and why I think people in Washington could learn something from us. Well, do you see a need for a third party? I certainly see a need for recognizing and understanding that as somebody who spends a lot of time, day in and day out, talking to voters in Massachusetts, right. most voters in Massachusetts are much more aligned to that center-left, center-right place. They're not playing out here. And, uh, and, and just as importantly, they... <laughs> They don't think about this stuff through a partisan lens. They think about it through, what are you going to do to improve the quality of education? What are you going to do to help my downtown revitalize? What are you going to do about affordable housing? What are you going to do about education? That's the way people think about this stuff. And um, they don't think about it as Republican or Democrat. They just want to see solutions. Well, if President Trump is reelected, or even if he isn't, and Trumpism continues to have a total grip on the party, you're a man without a home, right? Well, I, you know, I point out to people when, when they say this, you know, I won three Republican conventions and three Republican primaries. And, um, and there are a lot of people who are, quote, Republicans in Massachusetts who I believe think about this stuff the same way I do. But uh, it's a big ten, obviously. Well, it's been getting smaller, hasn't it? But that's true for the other side, too. I mean, like I said, the fastest growing party in Massachusetts is the folks without one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a quick break and we'll continue our conversation with Governor Charlie Baker in just a moment. So please stay with us.